Hello and welcome to the Biscuit Manufacturer Showdown. In this round, we're messing around with key cars. Something to note before we get started. Due to a lack of bodies available, after a few mod issues, I'd allowed the use of some 60s bodies providing the engine was still from 59, at the latest. So without further ado, let's bring in our benchmark, the Bissan Match 360. Bissan, having gotten started soon after the war ended, was struggling to sell their i6 powered mini off-roader and accompanying sedan, and jumped on the new 360cc key car regulations with the Match 360cc. The new engine is just one of the i6 blocks cut in half. The car sold relatively well. Its name has maintained its place in Bissan's lineup to this day. The match managed a time of 27 seconds, 641, around this Italian town. Unfortunately, both Aurora and Wivenworks failed to submit a car for this round. I will be scoring zero points this round. In last place is Helvetti with the K. The Helvetti K, named after its class and entry point into the motorsport for amateurs to get their teeth sunk in, powered by a single carb 360cc i4 engine producing 39 horsepower, you won't go fast, which is good to learn how racing works. The 1959 themed car is very legal, because we know you don't have a trailer. Easy maintained with its cheap cast iron parts, single DCOE carb and ample engine bay. You won't spend fortunes repairing it. With this car you'll race using only two gears, second and third. First is for only getting off the start line and fourth is to hopefully not drown your wallet in 98 octane gasoline bills or cruising the track. Earlier prototypes were rear wheel drive but due to safety concerns the commercial version is front wheel drive. The low price of $11,000 and is very cheap for your own dedicated race car, so you won't have to trash your beloved daily around the track. The K only got a time of 27 seconds, 8.06. Next is rounded Bolt with the Munchkin. The car managed a time of 27 seconds, 8.02. The Bolt Munchkin was a car of many firsts for Bolt, and was the first car of many onlys. First and only car made by Bolt ex sold exclusively in one market. First and only car made by Bolt to have under 50 horsepower. First and only car made by Bolt with a displacement under 500 cc's. Packing an engine smaller than the milk bottles it can transport in its bed, the 29 horsepower goes through the speed 3 speed gearbox, and a massive 87% of that actually makes it to the front wheels. It'll do 0 to 60, provided the air isn't too thick, or too hot, or too cold or too wet, or the road doesn't have a more than 1% degree incline. Official top speed is 62 miles per hour, which is an indefinite amount of time, but such speeds has yet to be recorded under normal conditions. The car was also last of, its, last of a breed, the last car to roll off Bolt's production line before the creation of BTED, and their increased emphasis on performance, even for everyday cars was a munchkin. Next is Wolf's 360D Speedster with a time of 27 seconds, 712. Wolf 360D Speedster is, is the classy late 50s car that is sure to get you around in style and class. The rear mounted i3 means you have plenty of room in the front of your car to store luggage for your trip around the world. This version we have lent to Boris also comes with, an, with the optional extra of a roof rack. SMC takes third with a lap time of 26,897. The SMC Gull Cam, Cam? Something in Swedish. Perfect little utility truck with a fancy luxury touches, while still being a cheap, affordable car. A mighty 16 valve straight four with as many gears as cylinders. Chalcedonia manages to take our second place spot with a lap time of 26 seconds. 813. The Chalcedonia Tron is a lightweight rear engine car making 35 horsepower from a 360cc rear mounted in line 4. This will mean it will go from 0 to 62 in a face bending 28.5 seconds. 
Quite frankly, you'll be lucky if it goes up a straight incline. You're much better off keeping momentum, momentum up and taking the long way round. Leaving i6 Inc. to take the top spot with a shoebox that manages a time of 26 seconds, 678. I6 Inc. brings forth the shoebox, a 25 horsepower and 24 foot pound torque of a key car, akin to Bisson. I6 Inc. chopped one of their beloved I6 engines in half, downsized some more, and called it a day. The shoebox is the weakest of our lineup, but at least filled the market need for key cars back in the 50s. So let's take a look at our leaderboards. Now let's put up our times and add our points. And let's take a look at the totals. Now let's bring in our next set of stipulations. 2005 Sports Convertibles. The next round is going to be scored using the same star system as the cop cars were in Season 1. The task will include two performance based tests, a fuel economy based test and the vehicle's overall value. These will be in competition with real world cars. Our overall regulations are car has to be road legal, it can be no newer than 2005, 2 litre max displacement, NA only, must hit a score of 100 in convertible sport or convertible sport budget and soft tops only. Our testing track for this will be the automation test track handling course. I wish you good luck and look forward to seeing your entries.